Hello, we're fixing everything. And because there is always something to be fixed, I'll make a video today for uh, changing the reverse light sensor on your gearbox. It's almost the same throughout all of the models from the year 2000 and a bit later, actually, maybe 2010. Uh, this, is, this is the gearbox here on this side of the car, left hand side of the car. That's the wheel, okay, that's the gearbox. And I, for easier, I got the bumper removed. And here you can see the location of the... Can you see it actually? Yeah. The blue one is the location of the hmm. sensor. I already troubleshooted it. And when it's in reverse, it's a short ring circuit, so it's not doing anything on some way. So it will need to be changed. This is a very, very cheap sensor. That thing is around um, $2, brand new. Nevertheless, let's try with 24 millimeter. Socket if it's too big. I get a smaller one. Smaller. Let's try with 22. By the way, we can you can check your oil level. Not 22, maybe it's 19. Try 21. Uh, you can check your oil level while you're doing this. 21. It's 21. Okay. I'm doing it one hand that I'm holding the camera with the other hand, so... As I say, if I can do it with one hand, you can do it with two. <laughs> Good. the sensor there is contact inside it fails let's get the new one the new sensor very cheap brown but it will do the job there we go let's compare it to the old one looks pretty much the same to me does it need a washer or something? It looks like it doesn't. No, that's not the. Not the <laughs> that was the fog lights cable. Never mind. Good. Let's see now. Reverse lights work. Let's switch to reverse and turn the ignition on. And the reverse are working. Good. Well, that's it. That's how to change your reverse light sensor. Very easy job, very cheap. I hope the video has been helpful to you. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.